Hi everyone and thank you very much first of all for joining me in this tutorial. So here in this lecture we are going to talk about this amazing library called Camlet which comes in Python right and basically we use it for extracting tables from a PDF and putting it uh, as it is in Excel. How it can be installed on a Windows device right how to use it what all things can be done through Camlet and how to configure it, how to extract the tables from the PDF and you know get it in Excel. All that will be covered in this video. Right, so stay tuned with me till the end of the video and do not skip any part of this video if you want to understand the complete functionality of Camlet. Now before I dive into the functionality and the coding part, I would first like to show you the playlists which I have on my YouTube channel. So if you are a person who is learning artificial intelligence or who wants to know about what all things can be done with the help of artificial intelligence when it comes to web application development or mobile application development. So I have a playlist for you which is this one artificial intelligence. So here you can find you know number of tutorials number of projects. For example, there is a chatbot, chatbot based on chat GPT, computer vision based projects, right? Data science projects, all the stuff you can find over here in this playlist. Then there are 134 Python projects. So each video which you will see here in this uh, list, right? It will have a unique project, right? And also you will get to learn something unique in each of the video which you will see here in this playlist. Same thing goes with other playlists also. If you want to become a full stack developer or if you are a full stack developer, whether basic or pro, this playlist is for you. So here you can find the solution of the most difficult problems which you face when you are doing full stack development. Right, so all that stuff related to full stack can be seen here in this playlist. Then comes the computer vision named playlist where we have the computer vision based projects. Then artificial intelligence theoretical uh, understanding if you want to get right, you're preparing for an interview or something like that. So you can visit this uh, playlist. And we have, you know, number of other things on my channel. For example, React JS tutorial, Python automation. Then I've started shooting for, you know, videos which uh, where in you can see what all jobs you can apply for if you are a developer. Okay, Django projects are there. React Native projects are there. Kiwi MD complete courses there. You want to learn mobile application development? Through Python, KVMD is one of the best libraries that you can prefer over the other uh, libraries like React Native or React. Okay, uh, machine learning projects are there, right? Where we do spam filtering, email filtering, all that stuff can be learned from the videos which are there in this playlist. Then there are hosting uh, videos, how to host an application on a Linux server, how to do it on a Windows server. So all that stuff you can find here in this in this playlist. NLP based projects are there, PHP based projects are there, Angular projects are there, cloud computing projects are there and this list will you know go on increasing because I will never stop making videos. The videos will keep increasing based on the views and the feedback which you will give me on these you know videos so just start checking these videos start checking these playlists which I have on my channel so that you can also get to know about the things which I have on my channel and also I can uh, get to know about the things which are still missing from my channel okay so it will be helpful for both of us fine so there is this gaming videos also uh, creativity videos, scratch tutorials. So these are for kids, right? If you are studying in 7th, 8th, 6th, 5th, right? If you are a kindergarten student also, then this these playlists are for you. You can easily learn 
tools like Scratch, Tinkercad, Write, Code.org, Thunkable, and create marvelous apps through them. Fine. So that is it. Uh, now let's come back on the tutorial. So here in this one, as I've told you, we are going to cover this Camlet name library. So it's a Python library with the help of which you can extract tables from PDF and put them as it is in a DBMS, right? When you have number of PDFs, right? And each PDF has some or the other table stored in it with different columns. With different columns, I mean to say, names of the columns are different. So in one P in a particular PDF, you have three columns with name, SI number, description of goods, text and amount, let's say. And in the second PDF, it's, it's completely based on some other, uh, you know, scenario. And you have some different columns in it, like it's based on library. And there are SI number then or serial number, right? Name of the book, amount of the book, date of purchase, date of issue, all that stuff. So if you want to extract them and put it in Excel or a database management system, relational database management system so camlet is a library which can help you doing it right the things will become easier for you right if you will get all the parameters in one single table right and if you get the things you know let's say you have mysql in, in the back back end now you extract the data from pds and you just put it in your uh, mysql then in the web application that you have created you just have to connect it to MySQL and from there you can pull the data and show it to the user on the front end. So that's where we use Camlet. So let us first talk about its setup. How to set it up on a Windows device. So what you have to do, just come in your terminal and fire this command. pip install Camlet dash py and then in brackets cv. Okay. Once you're done with installing this library, the second thing you have to do is to install this library called PYPDF2. It's used for reading the text present in the PDF. Okay, so this you have to install. Once you're done with installing these two libraries, the third thing that you have to do for setting it up on your device is installing this ghost strip right so how to install this ghost script you have to come on this url just note it down ghostscript.com slash releases slash gsdnld so if you are on linux you can simply download this one if you are on windows 64 you can download this and if you are on windows 32 you can download this script Right, once you are done with downloading the script, you have to run it and install it on your device. Okay, it's very simple. Just click it and just do next, next, next. It will get installed. Once you are done with installing uh, this script on your local, you have to come on your terminal and see whether your terminal or your CMD is able to detect this command or not. So see, GPL GoScript 10.03.1. So it's able to detect this command. It, it didn't give me any error. It means that GoScript is installed on my device and it is properly installed. You have to just create a file, a new file, right? And the directory in which you will create the file. Just put the PDF also in the same directory. So I have a couple of PDFs over here. So I'm going to implement uh, the functionality on this PDF called Krishna Kumar. Fine. Let me show you what we have in this PDF called Krishna Kumar. So I'm going to open it up uh, in Google Chrome and this is what we have. Right. So we have a table wherein we have seven columns, seven or six, one, two, three, four, five, six, sorry, six columns, right. These two are under results and we have four rows in this table. So I have to extract this data, right, and put it in an Excel sheet as it is. So coming back to the file here, 
the first thing you have to do is importing the library. So I've imported Camlet as Cam. So I've created an alias name for the library. Second thing you have to do is use this function called read PDF. So it's going to read the PDF which you will pass as a parameter. Which page of the PDF you want uh, this function to read? That is also something you have to take care of. So I would like this function to read for me the PDF named Krishna Kumar and because it has only one page in it so I would like uh, it to read the first page right coming to this uh, third part called flavor so here you can pass two different values one is latest and the other one is a stream so the first one we are going to try out is a stream okay I'm saving this uh, three lines of code and let's see what's going to happen when we will run this file. So we just have to do Python and then the name of the file will come. So what this will do, it will create a, a CSV file for us with name table output. So right now if you see there is no CSV file here. Right, within some time we'll see a CSV file somewhere down over here. Okay, so there we have this. So here we have this table output.csv file. Let us open it and see the data present in this CSV file. Okay, so this is what we have in the CSV file. Let me expand the column so you can see everything clearly. So if you see in the PDF, we, this is an example of data table. We have it over here, fine. Then we have disability category. We have disability and then category is there in the third row. Okay, so here the columns are not properly aligned, right? If we have, you know, if you see this column called ballots incomplete terminated, it's coming in three different cells. That too, having, you know, a lot of spaces in between. So this is a kind of data which you will get if you keep flavor as stream. Now, if you change it to latest, what will happen to the data and what kind of data you're going to get? Let's check that also out. So I will delete this table first. Okay. And then let's come here and fire the same code again. So we'll have to, for, we'll have to again wait for a couple of seconds and then we will get table output. Okay. So we have this file table underscore output dot csv now okay so this is the kind of data now i'm getting from latest okay so that's the difference right i hope uh, you have understood the difference between the two flavors so it has extracted only the table not the text which is present above the table that's the benefit of using latest as a flavor when you are using Camlet. Okay, so it has extracted exactly the same thing which we have in this PDF over here. Fine, let us try the same thing on a different PDF now. I have a PDF with name example, not example, let's try it out. Yeah, okay, let's check it out with example. So if I open it in, so this is what we have in the file called example.pdf okay and i would like to extract this table where we have speed driver car engine date right these five columns now what i have to do here is simply change this name to example right so i have the table on page number two right this is page number two on which i have the table so I need to change this value for pages to two. Okay. And then let me just change the name of the file to table output one. Right. So that we can have both the CSV files. I'm done with firing the command. Let's see. Okay. So we have the CSV file now. Table output one dot CSV. And let's see the kind of data we are going to get in that CSV file. 
Okay, so here we have the table. How many columns are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. And we counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So which column is missing? Date is missing. No problem, but uh, this output is also perfectly fine. So in order to get the fifth column, we'll have to, you know, somewhat fine tune this code. It's just a very basic code which I've given you. You can do lots and lots of experiment with this code, right? Uh, totally depends upon the kind of data you have in the PDF file. Fine. So this is the way you can set up Camlet on your device. And I've also shared the way you can use it on different PDFs that you have with you in which you have some tables which you want to extract and put it in CSV. Right, so that is it from my side in this lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye-bye, take care and have a great, great day, guys.